Hey guys, what's going on? John here. And in this video, I've decided that I wanted to share a ton of value on how I would actually go out and land um, a local client for doing something like website design, maybe doing some advertising for them, maybe building them a website. And what I'm going to do in this video is give you just a really, really quick rundown of how I'm going to go find someone live. I'm literally going to do this unscripted. I'm going to find someone live that needs some help um, with their website and um, basically show you how I would approach this and the exact tools you would need to kind of automate this process and speed things up. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm over on yellowpages.com and I like to use yellow pages because um, generally a lot of the websites um, built by this company are just not really all that great. As a matter of fact, I actually just yesterday, believe it or not, I interviewed the vice president, um, former vice president of yellow pages. He used to work for yellow pages eight years ago which was when this stuff was kind of getting off the ground. And he even explained to me the same exact thing. Uh, a lot of, you know, kind of the assets that Yellow Pages works on for these companies, they're basically just cookie cutter um, style websites. Nothing's custom. It's all just very, very, um, hey, we'll help you. And, you know, not really uh, very high quality, I guess is the, really what it comes down to. So let's take a random niche. Um, we're going to go after, I think I'm going to do, Let's do uh, an electrician and I'm going to do, so I'll do electricians and I'm going to pick a local city. I'll just say, um, I'm going to actually do, I'll say Andover, MA, which is actually near me. It's kind of a rich area as well. So I know that, you know, a little more likely people maybe have some money. So now this is what you're going to get. You basically have um, at the top left here. These are all ads, believe it or not. Every single one of these is an ad. So someone is paying to be here. So we already know that they're spending some money. This means they're spending money with yellow pages. We've also got some sponsored ads over on the right. These people are all also paying money. Now, the beauty of this is that you can see I typed in Andover and it'll just say serving the Andover area, but these businesses are not necessarily in Andover. And then as I go down, um, after I get past all the ads, I now I'm going to get the businesses that are in the area and then they get this little YP preferred, which I believe these guys are probably paying a little bit more money. So let's see, we'll try just thinking of, uh, you know, I want to find someone that potentially doesn't have a ton of reviews. Um, you know, the lower we go in the list, I feel like that's sort of good and bad being that the people who are a little bit higher might be paying a little bit more money. And then obviously I'm now kind of getting out of my area. These cities are now within, you know, like 20 miles of that, that area that I searched. So let's do, um, let's see. A lot of these even still, you can see like if they're not actually in that area, it'll just say like this guy's in the next city. And then these ones, it doesn't tell me because they're probably a little bit further away. I'm not really big on ones that say like best electrician pros. That doesn't really sound like, you know, an actual company or local electrician experts, local electrical contractor. Um, or even on-call electricians, something like Teal Electric, that actually sounds like a real business. So if we go to, the, go to their page, we can now do visit website. And it doesn't even look like it's loading. In fact, the URL here is completely broken. Let's see if, uh, so there's already a, a huge critical issue. I could already contact them and be like, hey, did you know that your, your website doesn't work on uh, Yellow Pages? I can't click on it, the link is broken. All right, so here we go. Literally the first try, I've already found a website that is, I mean, this is awful. I'm just gonna be blunt about it. You know, this is kind of cool, like this big purple thing, but I can already tell from looking at this, this is probably not a mobile friendly site. So this is one of the first things you can do if you see something like this. So type in mobile friendly test, and we're gonna take the website name, and we're gonna throw this into the URL field here and just do run test. So while that's running, I'll let that analyze. Now, the other thing I want you to do is do a search for Moz Local, and I'll leave a link to this in uh, the video or in the email, depending on where you guys are watching this. And let's just do this. So we're gonna type in t.l electric services. So I just gotta find the zip code because I actually don't know where they're based out of. It doesn't even tell me. It just says that they're, let's see. So I'm gonna just try searching them on Google. I'm 
going to type in MA for Massachusetts. All right, so they're in Everett. They have one Google review, which is terrible. Um, so let's see. So they're in Everett. So that's actually not super close, which is also interesting because Andover, nowhere near, you know, really just completely off. So just needed to get the zip code so I could give this to Moz. So I'm going to do check business listings. All this loads. Let's go back to our mobile friendly test. So interestingly enough, um, they're using something on this website that gives them a little bit of an extra boost. Basically, it's called due to mobile. It's like a conversion to the website that turns it into a mobile site. But as you can see, you know, it's like very basic. It almost kind of looks like a really bad Google, app, like a bad like cell phone app. Um, so again, Google does like show, hey, you know, it, it's fine. Um, it couldn't load a resource here, but you know, technically he is mobile friendly, but he's sort of using like this conversion of due to mobile to do it. It's not the greatest thing in the world. I'd probably talk about that. Um, now, at this point, I have a little bit of information. Um, I know this, I could leave this up on the page, and I'm still waiting for Moz to come back. Now, I wanna show you exactly what I would do. I would basically um, do something similar. Now that I realize he's in Everett, I want to do a search um, for electricians, specifically on YP. I think I spelled that right. I first want to do this on YP because we know that he's spending some money to be here. So the first thing I would mention is that, um, you know, he's basically paying money for this and he's also one, two, three, four, and then number five, and he has no reviews. So I would point out the fact that I'd probably go to Russell or potentially even local or on call before I go to anyone else, or maybe even some of these guys on the side because they have reviews. So I would point that out first. And if I keep going down, um, without even being in the native listings now, now I'm in the native listings, um, I've now got him at number eight. So his visibility is very, very poor right now. So this is stuff you can point out in a video, and I'm gonna show you how to record that video very easily. Now, the next thing that you can do is, um, you're basically gonna want to you know, go and take a look at um, how he ranks on Google for his service. So. We already realized that he's in Everett, so the idea here would be, um, I'm just gonna type in something like electrician, Everett, MA. That's, that's probably what I would look for if I was looking for him. So he actually does show up pretty high here, but the problem is his reputation is awful. So he's actually doing well in terms of Google ranking, but this is still someone that we could go after because of the fact that they don't have um, a very good website. You know, We can also maybe work with them to see if we can help them with their reputation. You know, this is something that, you know, I would say their rankings are doing well. There's clearly not, um, there's some competition here. There's a, there's a good amount of businesses here. So he's actually getting a good ranking. Um, the problem is that I probably wouldn't hire him because of this bad review. You know, it looks like someone came out, um, this guy like wrote a book, a big paragraph, like a book of why this is like a bad company. So this is just awful. And the, even worse was that he didn't respond to this. He didn't come in and respond. So I've got some perfect stuff to play off of here. So let me show you a couple of tools that I'd use. And the other challenge with this, and um, you will have to look around, this might not be the best example of it, is let's see if I click on contact us. I do have an email, so this is perfect. So I have this email, tlelectricalservices dot, uh, at gmail.com. So I have this email, now I've got the email. So now what I can do is I'm gonna go um, take this tool here, and I'm gonna leave you a link to this, it's called Loom. And Loom is basically a free plugin you connect it with your Google, and what it allows you to do is record a quick video right on your desktop. So this is what I would do. I would literally um, show him, you know, I would kind of get rid of the Andover search, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I'd probably close out of anything else like Facebook and stuff like that, but I'm not actually recording the video, but you'll get the idea. You wanna close out of any other tabs, you don't wanna have anything weird open. You know, get rid of Facebook, all that stuff, Twitter, anything like that, close that all out. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is show them this, like, hey, I was um, just on Yellow Pages, I was searching for electricians in Everett, and I noticed that you had your ad here, but you're not very apparent, you know, Russell is showing up a little bit higher, and I searched through all these other ads, and then I finally get to the real listings in Yellow Pages, I come down, and here you are, number eight. And I would say, hey, you know, what are the chances of me actually calling you and wanting to work with you versus all these other guys after going through people like Brian and Russell who are actually getting positive reviews and ratings? And then what I would do is I would actually, um, because of the fact that he's actually ranking well, 
I would pull up um, the Electrician Ever MA search and I would say, hey, you know, you actually are ranking really well, but you have this really bad review on Google. Um, you know, this is showing like this building here. I'm not sure if this is the greatest photo. It just doesn't really look very good and even doesn't even have his company name on it. It says Realty World. And then I would, you know, kind of talk about this and why, you know, why hasn't he responded to this? You know, this is something that we could be working on to help you grow your business. Um, getting more reviews, you know, maybe showing them how you can help them with that. And really, it's not very hard. There's some free stuff to help people with this. You could even give basic tips like you could go out and simply, you know, give them like give people business cards to like have a page like link to go review the company on Google when he's out doing field work. And then the next thing I would do is I would say, hey, you know, I took a look at your website and I noticed that, you know, it looks like it was something that was built, you know, several years ago. Um, I could do something for you that's going to be much better in terms of quality. It'll all be mobile friendly. And I'll even mention like, you know, hey, I ran this test and I saw that you're using this conversion tool to turn the website into a mobile friendly site. But it almost kind of reminds me more of like an app versus actually getting a real website that, you know, is actually mobile friendly. So I would say, you know, this is actually good that you have this, but I could do something that's going to be much better for you and look a lot better overall. So that's the way I would approach that. And then um, it looks like for some reason the Moz never loaded up. So let me refresh this, see if we can get it. I think it's going now. So here we can we can see we found it. It's the same address, same location. Um, we're going to click on this. And what this does is it comes back and it will actually give you a score based on how well the company is ranked in terms of you know all these different um, properties out there like Google, Facebook, Foursquare, Super Pages. So you can see he has no Facebook. Um, he's not an info group, he's not on super pages, Bing, Hot Frog, Axiom, which is a data aggregator. And then on YP, he's got some inconsistencies and issues. On Yelp, he's got issues. So I would show him this and say, like, hey, you know, I, I was looking at some of your business listings out there and um, I saw you had some errors with your yellow pages. You know, maybe I could work with you to correct this. So this is a super, super quick way to show this. Um, again, you can also see it pulled his review, so you could potentially point it out here, but Really, the biggest things we're looking at is the incomplete stuff, like where, hey, we could be adding some more photos to your Google business page. We could be doing some stuff with categories on your factual. Um, there's some inconsistencies in the address, like we're missing the website on a lot of these sites. Um, here, this is interesting. So here's that realty world, apparently at the same address. Maybe they're in the same building. So there's some conflicting stuff there. I don't know if that was an old company at that address, maybe at the same address, but they need to have separate suite numbers. There needs to be some sort of correlation there. And then we even got a duplicate somehow on YP. I don't know what that is. But um, I would even mention as well, when I went to his YP, I actually pulled that up. Let's go to it here. I mean, this is awful. I go to TL Electric and I click on visit website. It doesn't even load because this is broken. You think someone looking for an electrician that doesn't know the internet, they're going to like realize this. They're just going to go, oh, his website's broken and they're going to leave. So, I mean, this is just absolutely killing his business. So as you can see, guys, um, what you want to do is grab Loom. This is free. Um, you can record a quick video. I'm using a system right now called Camtasia to do this one. But Loom is free up to 10 minutes, which is more than enough time to cover the things that I just explained. And then what you want to do is if you want to scale this and kind of automate the follow-up process, I would go ahead and take a look at this system called Mailshake. Um, this is $9 a month. It's very inexpensive. You can upload emails on a CSV, and what you can do is set up automated follow-ups. So let's say you send out an email with your Loom video that says, hey, you know, I was taking a look at your website. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, blah, 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 I found some issues. Maybe we could discuss this. You know, do you want to set up a time for a call? You get no response, nothing at all. You have no idea, um, you know, anything that's going on. You basically decide to, you know, follow up with them. They don't get back to you. You could actually use the system to send another email within like two days that says, hey, you know, I just wanted to see if you got my message. You know, let me know. I'm interested in working with you and helping you with your website, yada, yada, yada. And then still no response. You could send a third email and then close it out. And you can also track whether or not they open your emails. If they respond, it puts them into a system, um, whether or not they click on links in your email. And the other cool thing is um, if you go to... Uh, Loom and someone actually watches the video, Loom will send you an email and say, hey, your video has been viewed. So you don't need to be guessing like if you sent them a video on YouTube, you're not going to be guessing like, oh, I don't know if they watch the video. I don't know if they open the email. You know, you'll know here if they open the email because they watch the video. 
And you'll know here if they've been interacting and even at least open the email. Maybe they opened the email but didn't click on the video or watch the video. So this is going to give you the idea to, you know, the capability to track this and follow up automatically. And if you go out there and gather emails, um, you know, you could load them all into the system and go shoot out a bunch of these videos, go start helping people. Um, you can see how quickly, I mean, I literally didn't even have to go to another business. I just picked one at random and I found a guy who has a bunch of problems that basically need, he needs help with. You know, he's got some serious issues. I would not hire this guy um, based on the fact that he's got the one bad review and he's not very visible. The other guys are better choices. And unless I called everyone else and I couldn't get someone on the phone, maybe I had an electrical emergency, like, you know, I don't know, something like a light was out in my house that I needed. It was dark or something. I don't know. Um, you know, that would be the only reason I would contact this guy, but pretty unlikely. So that's likely what other people are going to see as well with that bad review. So I would use that as a crutch to get in on this. So hopefully this has helped you guys. I'll leave links to all these different tools and services. I wanted to give you some value today. I think this is a cool little trick you can do to go out there and start landing some really easy business. Just go out there and be confident um, doing the things that I showed you. And if you have any questions, feel free.